Geo hangs on as Rangers barely scrape three points at Ibrox. It was abysmal performance. It was an abysmal watch. It was shit. The best bit of attacking was the gun being fired at the beginning. It was brutal. Tillman, the only goal in the game. Felt like the only chance in 90 minutes. Kind of wish they'd fired that gun in my direction like then. I wouldn't have had to watch this. Yeah, it was bad. It, was, it wasn't good. I mean, all it's done, right, is keep Geo in the job for a, month, a bit longer. And we all know the guy's zero chance of doing fucking anything. I mean, Rangers might scrape a cup this year, and even that is wishful thinking, honestly. I just, I just, every time Rangers come out against Celtic, man, they're going to get pumped. I know last year, right, they, they drew them at Parkhead, but the league was wrapped up, basically. And then, right, yeah, they beat, they, they beat them in the, the cup, right? But Rangers were a lot better last season than they are this season. They'd Bassi, they'd they'd, they'd, they'd Stevie G's memory. They had his fitness. All that shit's gone now. They had his fucking fitness. See this shit, Rangers of Hee Haw. And just get Gio's number like it's fucking, like it's Grand Theft Auto, he's got them on the phone book. It's embarrassing, honestly. I don't know how the guy's in the ju- I mean, if Rangers, if, if Rangers are such a big club, right? The fucking guy has to go. I don't get why he's there. You can't lose so many fucking games. Oh, but he's only lost. He's only dropped 24 points on the league since he took over. How can you lose six Champions League games without looking competitive in fucking any of them? And I don't care if they look competitive in a half. That's not good enough. You need to be competitive over 90 minutes or else you're going to fucking lose. In fairness, he has, he has only lost four league games. That's pish. Right. How many draws? Have you seen his away form in the league? No. It's abysmal. His home form's pretty good, though. Oh, come on. I, I mean, a fucking mentally challenged person could manage the old form of home and get a decent enough record. Yes or no? Maybe. Maybe. But what wasn't good was this game. Chances, parts of like the first clear-cut one, Ginelli played over the top by Snodgrass. I actually watched the game, so it was Roberto Snodgrass. And then Ginelli can't, doesn't really do anything with it, wins a corner like, but is what it is. Um, we've got Lundstrom blazing over with Cholak with half a chance, straight at Gordon. And that's it, that's it for the first half. With the, the wee squeaky Rangers TV guy going, oh well I think the referees gave that there, I don't know what he's seen there. I mean every three seconds, I mean. What's the goalie doing, damn? Everything, right? Not everything's against Rangers. Yes, the referees may be pish, but come on. This guy just thinks everything's against him. It's like conspiracy, like, There was a point in the second half, I can't even remember what it was, but like, he booked... Like, one of the Hearts players tackled the Rangers player, and, and he's like, oh, well, the referee's seen that in his eyes, the way he's seen it, something like that. It's like, no! It's just what's fucking happened. Yeah, they're shite, but come on. The, co the commentator for this guy's awful. I mean, he sounds like 2007 Ben Mitchell. Wee specky nerdy kid that plays right, fucking. He, look, he looks like 2022 Phil Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, and not good Phil Mitchell. Like, I mean, not prime. You want to play games, huh? You play with me. No, it's like, you want to talk about Rangers? You, you talk with me. <laughs> that sort of guy. You but... want to talk about the Rangers? I'll talk about the Rangers all day, man. All, all, right. all day, man. They fired the gun at the fucking stadium, man. Fuck off, oh, man. Look at me. Ah, Gio's going to beat Celtic. Gio, Celtic are pish. Celtic are tags. Celtic are. Uh, I said about 12, but Scotland, I actually look about 45, man. Scotland, shame. Rangers are going to beat them. And, and Gio, we trust, man. John Lindstrom and is the best on earth. And it's 7 0 Celtic. Gio, how is he going to respond to this? I don't know. I don't know. What's Gio doing, Tom? It's alright, guys, because that. That club across the city, they touch with other kids. Uh, aye, he's pish. Tillman makes it 1-0. The game, well, it's just, that's it. That, it's fuck, it's pish. The commentator's awful. Closing thoughts. Look, it was a shite game. This review wasn't even worthy of being made, but fuck it, we had to make it. But what is worthy of being made is the brand new Football Manager 2023 series that we will be bringing to the channel. Now, there will be two. There will be an old firm series where we'll be going against each other. Obviously, this guy here will be going to Rangers because he doesn't like the Selic. And I'll be when you sell it because you I'll, touch kids. I'll be uh, replacing big fat fucking Ange Post and Oblu. And uh, we'll be doing a joint one where we take over a team together. And at the moment, it looks like our team is going to be the Pars. The mighty Pars. Dunfermline. But hopefully we can perform 
above par and get them back in to the Premier League while hoovering all the fuse Ah, uh, Ben1895, or whatever his fucking name is. And uh, his fuse that have been left in the fucking closet because he's, he's and, done. And David Buke. I am. David Buchanan. That's not him, it's David Buke. Who's David Buchanan? Huh? It's Christopher Buchanan. Oh, Chris is Morton TV, I fucking wonder. Shout out to Chris is Morton's TV. Looks like Phil Mitchell as well, even. On that note, peace.